Hi guys, this is David, coming to you from my living room again. Um, I just wanted to talk about what's coming up in the Ease series. I've decided to continue trucking along with it, and um, we've hit quite a roadblock here. We've hit Ease 4. There are four versions of Ease 4. Yeah, so we need to talk about this for just a second. There were two Asians, Asians, versions <laughs> of uh, Ease 3. There was Wanderers from Ease, there was Oath and Falgana, and um, Wanderers from Ease just sucked. I have no intention of ever playing that, ever. It just brings back awful childhood memories of me dying and just, just nightmares. It's just terrible, so that's just not gonna happen. But Ease 4 is a different story. It's actually a really good game. Um, there's just a lot of versions of it. So let's start talking about that and what was going on with there. I'm not going to get into like the nitty gritty, the details, the developers, all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to tell you what happened. So Falcon was kind of in a bind and they wanted to make an Ease 4, but they couldn't develop it on their own. So they basically come up with like a rough script and they shopped it out to some developers they've had a, um, a relationship with previously to develop the game. So they went with Tonkin House for um, Ease for Dawn of Ease for the TurboGrafx-16, and they went with Hudson for Ease for Mask of the Sun for the SNES. Of those two versions, the TurboGrafx-16 version is worlds better than the SNES version. Um, they're still both great games, but if you had to compare the two, yeah, the TurboGrafx-16 version comes out on top. Um, not just because the, the gameplay is better and the storyline is better, um, the translation is better, there's actually dialogue, there's actually inspired dungeons, there's just so much more. Um, all the versions of East 4 were never released in America. Um, except for one, and I'll get to that version momentarily. As far as the TurboGrafx-16 version's translation is concerned, not only did the translators translate the dialogue, they actually translated uh, the text as well, so we have a voice patch and a text patch to deal with. Trying to patch that on your own is kind of a losing battle as far as I'm concerned. It is very difficult, at least for me, I have made no qualms about how awful I am with computers. It took me hours, hours to figure out how to actually translate and patch um, Ease 4 Dawn of Ease, and I still, still couldn't get it done right. It just, it was just ridiculous. So I kind of gave up on it, and I said to myself, you know what, there must be an easier way. And I went and I looked, and I found a pre-patched ISO of the game, and I will be sharing that in the video description, so look forward to that so that you don't have to spend hours trying to translate that game also. It's just not worth it. Um, so yeah, that's it for uh, Dawn of Ease, and then immediately following Dawn of Ease, I will be playing Mask of the Sun. There are two versions of Mask of the Sun. There's the SNES version, and then there's Mask of the Sun, A New Theory. That was released for the PlayStation 2, which is a remake of Mask of the Sun, but it's actually worse than the SNES version, if that's any indication of just how terrible it is. Um, that does not have a patch, and I will not be playing that version. So I will be playing the Turbo Gap 16 version, and then the SNES version. But there's a fourth version of Ease 4, which is... Ta -da -da, Ease Memories of self Seta for the PlayStation Vita. Um, yeah, I bought this game, I have a Vita, I haven't actually played it though. Um, I have played the SNES version and the TurboGrafx-16 version when those were first translated. I have not yet played this game because it's on the Vita and yeah. But anyway, um, looking into this box, it's kind of cool. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, namely, there is this strategy guide. Um, it's a full strategy guide with all the items and everything else. You probably can't really see it in this video, but it has maps, it has locations of treasures, it has um, artwork, it has boss strategy. It's really freaking cool. So there's that, and then there's also, like, I don't even know what this thing is. I didn't even open this thing. Whatever this thing is, I don't know. A button or something? I don't even know what this thing is. I don't know, but it's there, yeah. So, um, 
As far as Memories of Celsetta is concerned, I will be playing that as well, but not the PlayStation Vita version. Xseed, apparently, or Falcom, whoever, they are porting it to Steam, and I will be playing that version whenever that happens, apparently sometime this summer. So yeah, we have Memories of Celsetta to look forward to, we have Shows of Azure to look forward to, whose translation has just hit 92% and then just stopped, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, beats me. But yeah, I'm still going to be trucking along with the E-Series, so I hope that you guys look forward to that, and have a good day.